Oh, 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 oh. You got to jump in to wash all the pee out. Welcome back to another episode. I made a decision at midday to come out for, uh, I've got my dive gear, uh, got the float boat, got my spear gun, and I just wanted to come out because it was just such a nice day. So I've launched the tacker, you can see in the background there. Uh, I'm probably gonna head somewhere around Rangi Toto, but um, just, I just came out with a fishing rod and my dive gear, and I'm just gonna see what I can make happen. So running a bit low on fish in the freezer at the moment, so yeah. I mean, look at the state of this. Unreal. So anyway, I'll try and skip all the boring, the boring stuff and just get you straight into the action. Let's go. Four and a half meters here and I can see the bottom. So I'm like, that's a good start. I was expecting it to be like two meters or three meters. So. Yeah, this is this is exciting. So I'm gonna jump in here. I think I can't see much weed though, um, which is not a good sign because fat kinners love weed, and if there's no food, then they're not feeding, and it means they're not fat. So uh, and always check how fat your kinner are before you take a whole sack out of an area because there's no point in taking 50 kinner out of an area if they're skinny ass. So a bit murky around here, but. Anyway, let's get in the drink, son. So I was about to jump in the water and uh, I felt my weight belt pop off. So the buckle has popped off like that. It's popped off. What am I gonna do? Let's see if I can do something. See if I can tie it up. Not a good start, but. I just remembered, my dad left his weight belt in here. Yes! I don't know if you guys could see that, but there was a really good snapper uh, just on the burly, and like I'm not even having to duck under to look at it. Like the sun's behind me, and um, I can look at the burly from the surface. But I saw a nice tail. It might be like a five five pounder, maybe. But um, yeah, I'll see if I can get him.
I mean, not the best shot in the world. It's a bit of a gut shot and straight through the middle of the fillet. But, I mean, good snapper for Rangi Toto. But yeah, the other one I saw was bigger than this. I'd say twice the size. But I don't know. He'd be maybe 400. Yeah, 400 maybe. But uh, I'll refresh that burly once more and then I'm going to move. But um, I'll pop him up here out of the water. Nice, first snapper, Rangi Toto, spearfishing, let's go. Hey team, so first spot, uh, not too bad. Um, I got one, I missed another one, probably about twice the size of that, but um, yeah, happy. Happy. I'm gonna go try find some clearer water, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna try a different spot, and then I'll probably get out of the water, um, chuck my clothes on, and then I got a burly bomb and one bag of fresh bait, so I might burly up with this outgoing tide, but not really the right tides for it because it's low tide. But now give it a nudge. We're out here. <laughs> What's again is a whole heap of snapper on the burley, but uh, it's just a kin of burley, but um, nothing big. I'm after something a little bit more substantial, so uh, seems to be like a whole lot, maybe three or four around the 400 mark. So I don't know, we'll wait for something to see if anything else comes in. I'll check it twice more to see if I can get something bigger, but yeah. What a amazing afternoon. Epic, epic afternoon on the water.
Well, just got out of the water and um, on the dive, the last dive that I got, I actually shot the snapper, but uh, just kept passing up a uh, fish about his size just to um, try and get that bigger fish, but in the end, I just, uh, just decided, bugger, I just have to take one off the spot. So yeah, just jump, jumped out, but because there's some good snapper here, what I might do, I've got a burly bomb in here I might actually sit out the channel, go out a bit deeper, and the tide is currently going out, so I might burly up just out here. Since uh, um, I've already smashed up maybe 10 or 20 kinna in this area, so uh, I think there's already gonna be fish here. So anyway, cool dive, uh, more of a recon dive. I've never had a dive here, but man, what a spot. Epic. Recon diving. I've never dove here before and um, Yeah, I come away with a feed. I got him I got that snap and I got another snap from the last spot in there. So I'm stoked. Who would have thought spearfishing just out of Auckland. Look, there's Takapuna right there Out of it. Anyway <sighs> I'm having a good time Okay uh, I'm gonna get dry, put some dry clothes on, and um, let's have a bit of a fish as the as the sun goes down. <laughs> oh, 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 it's cold. You got to jump in to wash all the pee out. <laughs> oh, this is warm. Life jacket. I don't know, you all like to see me with a life jacket on. Oh, there we go. I'm ready. Ready for a stray line sesh. I'm just gonna head out there. But, oh, me, what an evening. I love this ship. things first barely in the water mate look at the state of this I'm in heaven I am in heaven we got to feed a kinna uh, the kinna here are much fatter than with my first dive uh, over there so I took a good feed of kinna uh, shot two snapper, so we're going home with the feed and we're just gonna Try and get a few more snapper to take home and give to the family. So We'll see how we go Buying bait every time you need to go fishing or you need fish in the freezer Horrendously expensive like 40 50 bucks for a five kilo box of pilchards Just get out there and chase bait. I mean, I haven't bought bait now for a couple of months um, I still buy burley, but it's better than buying bait and burley. But uh, yeah, and I mean, they stay on the hook so well. So much better than pillies. So um, yeah, get out there team and go chase those pipers, mullet, kahawai, anything like that. So the sink has slid down over its bill. 
two hooks through and that's your whole piper bait. But um, my kinnaburlies are over there. Head cam mode. Oh, you're a bit dirty. That's better. There was definitely a lot of snapper there. So I had a hit on the first uh, the first bait as well. So you never know. You never know. First one going back. See you later. Bring back Big Daddy. Now there's a proper bird, a shag. I think a seagull just shit on me. Stunning. We got one. I think it's foul hook though. Bro, where's all the biggies at? Got one. Probably only just legal, but... See you, bro. That's insane. I just love New Zealand. Biggest city in New Zealand, right there. And you've got this, 15 minutes away. Ah, little guy. Got something on. No, it's oh, oh, feels okay. Might be a keeper team. We may just have our first keeper on rod and reel. Oh, team! Yes, that is what we want. That is the fish that we want. Yes, yes, that is a great eating snapper. Those are the boys we want. Yes, stoked. Wow, oh, he really scoffed that, didn't you? Great eating fish. I'll set the lights up and give it a crack and see how what we can make happen. I don't know if you guys can see me or not, but um, yeah, I've got one of my work lights set up. Look at that, it's a big bait, man. Another slap bait. Uh, we've got a little tacker on, I think. Felt decent when it ran. Oh, might be coming home. Yeah, that's coming home. That's a fatty. That is a fatty. By the way, team, if you're new to the channel, my name's Ehaka, and 
I do all things ocean. I love to go fishing and I love free diving and spear fishing. So this is just a basically a, a record of the adventures that I get up to. So yeah, if you like this type of content, like and subscribe and I'll keep pumping it out. Hooked another one. I think it's going to be another eater thing. So can't see that light shining. Oh, close. Because the fishing's so good, I think I'll let this guy go. Oh, nah, not quite. Felt like a pinnery. Oh, yeah. I think so, yep. That's a goodie. We'll put about three back that have all been legal, but just not, not quite like this. Um, trying to just take fish that are in really good nick, like really fat. Um, but yeah, that's a good dinner. I think we've got a proper one, team. A proper snapper. Oh yeah, good fish, good fish. Goody man, perfect eater, perfect size eater. Nice. I've just hooked what I think is a good one, but when I put that light on me, I can't see really. Hopefully, it's but it feels better, it feels like a really good fish. Check it out, team. It's a good snapper. Hey team, so I just used my last bait up. Um, I had a small bag of fresh piper that uh, I brought out with me and um, yeah, nothing huge, but we ended up, I'll show you. We ended up getting a really good feed uh, with some nice fish. So yeah, uh, good feed of kinna for me because I hang out for kinna every now and then. And we've also got the um, we've also got the two fish that I speared today as well. So uh, yeah, overall good day, well worth coming out, I'd say. Um, this is a nice. There's a couple of nice fish in here. Um, so yeah, stoked as. Hey team, I'm back. Uh, back at the boat ramp. Uh, I'm the last guy to come in. I think I'm the last truck here, yeah. So, but nah, so stoked with going out, making the last minute decision to come out. It was well worth it. So yeah, anyway, um, I'll probably see you tomorrow when I'm, I'll clean this up and uh, fill it all my fish up and then do a bit of a cook for you guys. All right, cheers. I was gonna do kinna fettuccine for you guys, but that's sort of its own cook, I think. Um, but it's a really good recipe. So, but anyway, uh, leave a comment if you want if you want to see how I make kinna fettuccine pasta. Um, it's a bloody good recipe. But for now, I'm gonna have some kinna on toast. Yo, what up? Um, this is going to be the first catch and cook. So I'm just going to make something simple for the first one, but um, this is a pretty staple recipe in this household. So it's just going to be fish burgers. You'll need main ingredient, snapper fillets or whatever fillets, kahawai, gurnard, John Dory, whatever fish you've got, uh, preferably fresh. Uh, you got your brioche bruns, got to have brioche, and then these are all basically extras. We just bought a packet of the crispy lettuce salad. Um, I'm going to be a better. We usually crumb, but I'm going to try this. So, and then, if you haven't seen this one before, and you like seafood, you need to get it. It's, um, it's a bloody game changer when it comes to seafood. So, but all of that stuff's extra, but... Show you guys what I do. Anyway, we'll get into this cooking. Mm. 
Okay, I'm going to have a bath now. Oh, thumbnail? Thumbnail moment? <laughs> no! This is an OnlyFans. Salty Dog's burger sauce. I'm going to call it. A bit of that. And a bit of chili oil. Nice. These ones, uh, you know the test run of a pancake, how the first one's always the worst? Well, this is the first pancake, so. Not the best, but oh well. Chili oil, best foods mayo, heaps of that on the top. Doesn't look that appetizing, but trust, it is so good. I'm gonna go in with a double decker. Just slap that over. Mmm, got good crunch. Yeah, that's good. And then, just a bit of green shit. And there you have it. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. This. That's gun. That's gun. Mm. Oh, good. I got a huge mouth. You do have a huge mouth. Mm. How's the chili mayo? Mm. Good, eh? Mm-hmm. Thanks for watching if you've made it this far and if you're new my name's Ihaka and this is Georgia and we just do adventures like the one that you've just watched so I'm about to maybe make another one maybe anyway you guys don't need to see that which is by in Māori 